Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Boohoo Man Haul. We've spent around about sort of £250 on this haul, uh, going for the sort of spring, summer look. We'll try it all on, I'll put it into outfits the best that I can, and then I'll talk you through each outfit. So this is outfit number one. This is the Boohoo Man Signature Pinstripe T-shirt and stuff. It fits quite well. It's a um, it's not tight underneath the arms either. It's a good length. Considering I'm six foot two, there's quite a nice bit of length to it, so it covers Top of your jeans goes down to sort of the zip line on the jeans that I'm wearing. Um, these jeans are um, a 34 waist. They're new for me. They're a spray-on skinny denim jean, washed, it says here on the tag. They are very comfortable for a skinny jean. I've got quite bulky legs and uh, they fit really nicely. They've got a little bit of stretch to them as well. But they are, they're quite a smart jean. Uh, you can wear these with a nice pair of white pumps. Just to know, you could wear it with a white t-shirt as well. And in my last video, I paired some t-shirts and some necklaces. Again, you could just throw one of them on with it. But for sort of a summer spring outfit, this is quite comfortable. And the quality of the whole outfit from t-shirt to jeans is very comfortable. So this is outfit number two. This is the t-shirt from Brave Soul. It's a vertical stripe in navy. Again, this is size large. Um, the quality of it, again, like the last t-shirt I just tried on, is very good. Uh, fits really well, it's not too tight around the waist either, the length on it is really good but again this is just a simple easy t-shirt with sort of a white detail down the shoulder to go with any form of denim jean. So guys this is outfit number three, this is a polar neck in grey, it's uh, again in a size large. Um, I. But I purchased this just because I wanted another roll neck, but the other half was like, no, don't get another roll neck. It's summer, where the hell are you going to wear it? It's going to be hot, you're not going to wear it. I made a strong argument for it, and now I look like a bit of an idiot because I don't like it at all. It's very tight. It's not very flattering whatsoever. It's thin. Um, it feels very cheaply made. Um, it's, just, it's just not a very nice quality. Um, I have another uh, roll neck that I wear, which is a black one, which I think was from H&M, which is a lot better quality. This one, I'm, I just there's nothing really positive to say about it. It's very thin, the fit's not great, it's very tight. And again, yeah, this is sort of a spring summer haul. Um, and I purchased this off the off chance that I like it, but in actual fact, it's not very nice whatsoever. Today's weather would be perfect for it because it's pouring down with rain outside. But in the summer, hopefully when we're out of lockdown and we can go and sit in a nice pub garden when it's nice and sunny, this isn't something that I'd be wearing and not something that I'd be wearing on a night out either. It's just not flattering whatsoever. So I'm going to um, probably end up returning this one. Well, I'm definitely going to return this one. Uh, well, I'm not going to return it because I can never be bothered to do it, but I'll be sending my partner to the post office and she can uh, send it back for me. So I'm going to move on to outfit four now. Um, hopefully it's a lot better than this roll neck. Um, so I'll uh, stick it on and hopefully you guys like it. So guys, this is outfit number four. This is completely different to anything that I've tried on so far today. Um, and this is normally something very much out of my comfort zone as well. This is a granddad um, neck long sleeve white polo um, shirt. And um, it is for a shirt very thin. It's a little bit see-through as well. I don't know whether you can tell, but um, it's it's a bit see-through. But it's a very summery shirt. This is something that you could stay in when it is hot outside and still carry off that smart image. And these trousers as well that I'm trying on are very bold. They're a very bold stone colour with a navy blue check going down the sides of them. Um, these again are in a size uh, 34. And... They've got, you won't be able to see because I've got a belt on with this, but they've got an elastic back, which I was very unsure about when I took them out of the packaging um, because elastic backs aren't, you know, if you're not wearing a belt, you're going to be able to see that if you tuck your shirt in. So I'm not entirely sure um, that it's that flattering. But as a whole, these trousers are very lightweight, very thin. So they are very comfortable. They stretch well. Um, they're cropped, so you would wear these with a loafer, which I'm doing, which you'll see in the cutaway um, when we when we put that up. 
um, that I'm wearing with my black loafers that I got from ASOS in the last haul. So you'll be able to see the whole image, but they're cropped at the bottom. They are quite a nice fit um, and they go quite well with the white shirt. But again, you could just pair this with a white t-shirt, something like that. But as a whole for a summer outfit, this is quite a nice, nice one. So guys, this is outfit five that I'm trying on for you now. So this again, I've kept the same white shirt on, which is the thin white one that I, I spoke about in the last one, but I've just paired it with a different pair, a different colored pair of those cropped trousers. So similar to the stone ones that I've just tried on, but these have more of a tartan look to them. The description's actually just a cropped skinny navy, but they are more tartan, I would say, than just a plain navy. Um, they've got this sort of chain detailing on the side. I'm not entirely sure who I think I am at the minute wearing these. Again, we thought when we looked at them online, they looked a little bit like pajama bottoms, but I was really intrigued to try them on and see what they were like. And to be honest, I, I quite like them. I think, you know, with the, with the shirt and again with a pair of loafers, even with maybe a pair of white trainers, like a crisp new pair, they work quite well. And you could wear this outfit to the office, you could go to the races in this. It is a very smart, summery look. And again, it is all quite lightweight. It's nice, nicely fitted. The chain detail is a bit more bling that I wouldn't normally go for. Uh, but you can actually take this chain off. If you don't like it, you can just take it off. It clips off and on, so you can just chuck it to one side if it's not something that you like, but you like the trousers. But I think they're just something a little bit different. You don't see many people out and about wearing these. They're quite a bold statement. So again, you could just wear these down to the pub. Um, I talk a lot about the pub in these videos because I just can't wait to get back down there. This lockdown's absolutely killing me. Um, I feel like I've been in lockdown forever now, and I'm sure you guys are feeling the same. So if you just leave us a little comment, let me know what you've been up to in lockdown and I'll try, you know, I'll reply to as many as possible. And again, if you've got any ideas for videos you want to see, you know, like a, a, a Q and A or you want me to do a Zara haul or anything like that, let me know and then I can make sure that I can get that to you as soon as possible. All right. So this is outfit six, which is more a chilled outfit. Um, these are the jogging bottoms. In my last video, I was wearing a navy blue with the yellow man written across the leg. Now I've ordered sort of pretty much a similar pair, but in a grey, and uh, it's got the black man written across the leg. Again, these are really comfortable, like just to chill, lounge around in. And again, they're smart enough, I think, just to be able to wear with a white pair of trainers, and head to the shops in. But again, they've got these toggle strings here that you can just tie up, but they're really comfortable. They're all fleeced inside, and they're plenty, you know, they say they're skinny fit on the tank, but they're not. They don't feel that tight to the leg whatsoever. I've paired it with this t this Boohoo Man t-shirt, which is in like a washed grey colour. Um, and when I saw it online, I really, really liked it. I was like, this t-shirt, it's really nice, it's different, it's got a different colour to it. I've taken it out of the packaging and it's been the biggest letdown so far throughout this whole haul. The quality of it is poor. It's a little bit like in my last video, I tried like a sky blue Boohoo Man on with a zip detailing. It's very much like that in quality size. This is a large, again, and when I tried this one on in a large, it was completely different in the length, whereas this one is a little bit shorter. As you can see, when you put raise your arms up, it pulls all the way up your body. And at the bottom where they've stitched it, it's all sort of folded over. It's not a crease, it's the way that they've stitched it. The colour is nothing like it says it is on the website either, or it looks like on the model. We'll put an image up so you can see what it looks like on the model and compared to what I'm wearing, it's two completely different images by the looks of it. But I'm definitely going to be returning this. It's not good quality whatsoever compared to the last t-shirt I tried on. The quality is, I don't understand how the quality is so different. So again, the jogging bottoms I'm definitely keeping. They're super comfortable. But the t-shirt, again, is just a, a letdown. I just, I'm struggling with the Boohoo Man t-shirts at the minute. So we're gonna move on to the next outfit. We're gonna move back to sort of a more smartish casual look. We wear a pair of black jeans and we're gonna sort of mix and match that, all right. So outfit number seven, I've paired the black jeans, which I just said in the last outfit that I was gonna put on next. And I've paired it with a crew neck um, knitted jumper. Um, I'll start with the jumper. This jumper was actually, it, it was reduced down to £9. And for £9 for a knitted jumper, whether if this is meant to be a spring or summer haul, for £9 even for the winter, getting ready for the winter, this is this jumper is brilliant. For £9, it's so, the quality of it is so nice. It's thick, it's warm, it's exactly what you want when it's cold outside, like today, with the weather being poor. 
it's so nice, it's so comfortable. You could also just lounge around in it just to keep yourself warm. So instead of wearing a hoodie, for example, you could put this on, but it also does have a little bit of smart element to it as well. So this is in a size large, there's plenty of material, so it isn't figure hugging. And again, that's what makes it so, so comfortable to wear. It's in a stone color, they say that this is stone. There seems to be a lot of stone in this haul, but it's a color that um, I think goes really, really nice with these black biker jeans that I'm wearing. Um, again, these are spray on biker jeans, black um, with a zip design. Um, they're a th size 34 again. I've never purchased a pair of spray on jeans before um, because it's not something that I'd ever wear. But my partner, when I put them on, was like, oh, wow, I can see your legs. And nine times out of 10, I just wear sort of the normal boot cut leg jean because I just think I've always worn them and they go with everything. But I thought I'd mix it up and go for a spray pair. And to be fair, they are very good. They've got this sort of distressed detail in here and then a ribbed effect on the knee. Um, but again, they are very tight and it isn't a pair of jeans I think I'll be able to wear all day and all night. But if you just wanted them on for a few hours just to pair them with a pair of trainers or even a pair of like Chelsea style boots. Um, and you could also wear, you know, with a, sh with a shirt with these jeans or just a plain white t-shirt. Again, pair it with a necklace or something like that. But for a pair of spray on jeans, these are good quality, good fit. They've got a little bit of stretch to them as well. We're going to keep these jeans on and um, I'm going to show you what else we can pair it with in this haul because we've got quite a few different things that I think will work well with it. So I won't run through the jeans again when we move on, but I'll run through the top half. So this is outfit eight. This, I've kept the, the black jeans on, but now I've realised when I've put this, this t-shirt on with it, because of all the detail on this t-shirt, uh, well, polo shirt, along with the details on the jeans, I'm not entirely sure. So I probably would have paired this t-shirt with the blue jeans that I wore earlier on in the haul. But going through the t-shirt, it's a great fit. It's really comfortable as well. It's got this sort of pattern going all the way down. It's got man again, because Boohoo love putting their logo on every t-shirt they design. Um, it's very comfortable. It's a lot smarter than the other t-shirts that I've tried on. It is very golf-esque, like you could get away with wearing this to the golf course. But again, I would be quite happy to wear this on a night out or during the day. It's very comfortable, it's khaki, it's in a size large. And compared to the t-shirt, the grey one that I slated earlier, complete comparison in the quality. This was terrible in quality, whereas this one's a lot nicer. But again, like I said, I would probably, if you're going to wear black jeans, wear a plain pair of black jeans and a pair of white trainers. Um, or just pair them with the denim jeans that I showed earlier. This also, this t-shirt is described as a muscle fit on Boohoo's website. And in actual fact, I know that I've got no real massive muscles and built like a bit of a biro, but it's, it is a little bit fitted, but it's not massively fitted. So if you haven't got muscle, don't always be deterred by that, that tag of muscle fit. I normally stay away from it, but I really like the color of this. So I thought I'd, I'd take a chance with it. If it says muscle fit, just order it. If it doesn't fit or you don't like it, just send it back. But it's worth giving it a go because I think I've found a winner here. So this is Outfit 9. I know you've all seen this jacket hanging on the end of the rack because um, it's very jazzy and I'm sure that you wanted to see what I was going to do with it. Um, I have just paired it with the black biker jeans and with a normal white t-shirt, um, which is actually from ASOS. It's a pull and bear one that I did in the last haul. But going back to the jacket, it's not my vibe. I do feel a little bit like MC Hammer in this jacket. It's a houndtooth design. It's textured. It's got this sort of like textured feel to it. Um, it's in a size large. It's got a lot of access material to it for a large. Like, I'm not too sure how big they think my arms are for a large. It's a lot of material just sort of wasted. You can see inside the pockets are sort of held together with these bits of like material ribbon. Uh, the quality of it just isn't fantastic. It's not my vibe, but if you do like things that are jazzy and it's just a little bit different and you wanna make a stand when you walk into a room, this is definitely a jacket for you. But for me, it just feels like a, a bit of a carpet that you'd find possibly in your nan's house or something like that. It's just, it's just not for me, unfortunately. But again, I think this was around about 21 pounds. So for the sake of 21 pounds for a bomber jacket, and if this is your vibe, I would say go for it. But for me, it just it just doesn't work at all, unfortunately. So this one will be this sent. Is outfit number 10. It's the last outfit that we're going to try on in this haul. It's the wool um, crop trousers that uh, we're trying on in the colour of charcoal. 
and um, they are again in a size 34. They are cropped at the bottom. I've paired these with just a white tee and a pair of white trainers with a grey sole, which again I'll show you in a moment because they are part of the outfit, part of this haul. The uh, trousers, to be honest, I, these were on sale as well, um, and these were eight pound. And for the price of eight pound, the quality of them are really good. Uh, the fit of them's really nice. They're comfortable. They're not tight at all. So again, like I said, I'm not a fan of spray on stuff. These certainly aren't spray on. These um, do have a bit of extra material around the legs, so they're quite nice. So you could even fold them up a little bit more than I have. Um, but for the sake of eight pound, I'm not too sure how many more they're gonna have left in stock, but I think they're a really good bargain for what they are. And again, you could pair them with a white shirt or and with a pair of loafers. And again, you could go to work in those, go to the races, you could go anywhere that, that you need to be smart for. You can, you can match these with a shirt or anything. But I've just paired it with a very casual outfit. And again, it works both ways. Uh, the trainer that I'm wearing is uh, just a pair of plain white trainers with a gray sole at the bottom. Again, I'll take them off and I'll show you. Um, this is what they look like. They're a basic trainer. These, I think, were around about £9. Um, these are in a size 10. Boohoo have obviously now ventured into putting their branding all over their trainers as well um, because it's on the, on the tongue of this and it's all embossed. But to be honest, the quality of them are really good. Uh, there's something a little bit different and they are quite comfortable. But again, you could just pair these with a lot of the jeans that I've worn in this haul or with these trousers. So that's the final outfit for today. There are some winners and there's some really bad losers like that jacket, the black and white jacket here, which I'm sure that you were all hoping that I'd keep, but that is definitely being sent back. But the one that I was surprised with the most were probably the checkered tartan trousers. I thought they were gonna look terrible on me with that, that chain on the side, but in actual fact, the fit of them, that they were comfortable, and I can style that again with t-shirts or shirts and go anywhere smart and pair them with trainers or loafers. So they're just a really easy pair of trousers to use for smart or casual. Um, and then again, the t-shirts, which I bought, ended up getting four or five t-shirts in this haul. Again, I just don't think Boohoo do t-shirts that well. I think they do a lot of other stuff brilliantly, you know, like the trousers and the jeans that I've tried on, but t-shirts, I just think I'm gonna stay away from moving forward. Uh, get the t-shirts from ASOS like the one I'm wearing now. Um, but again, guys, if you want to see us do any more hauls like a Zara, H&M haul, Top Man, anything like that, let us know in the comment section and we'll bring that to you as soon as possible. Keep us posted with what you're up to in lockdown. You know, we're bored just as much as everybody else. We're hoping this is bringing a bit of light entertainment to your day. But leave us a comment, let us know what you're up to. And if you're liking what you're seeing at the moment, you know, just click the subscribe button. We'll get a video to you early next week. Cheers, guys. Keep safe.